I tell you what you mean to me Dysentery You gotta face that I wanna slap You're about as welcome as a dose of the clap You're the picking from a hobo's nose Got no The only culture you've got Is growing between your toes Friendship Friendship What a pile of steam and horseship But we'll stick together Like milk and honey Cause we And the final 10th series of Hail and Pace will be screened next year. Australia. We l like you. <laughs> you shove huge lumps of dead cat on your barbie in. Australia. Your beer is made entirely from chemicals in. Australia. Your swimming trunks disappear up your bottom in. The crack of your eye. Australia. <laughs> I don't like cackling. I don't like any kind of pork. All right. All right. Firstly, Sydney's got the Olympic Games. Yeah, well, that's typical, isn't it? Because you Aussies, right? You've always been lucky with sport. Yeah. <laughs> Cricket. Lucky. Rugby. Lucky. Kylie Minogue. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> hey, have you guessed what it is yet? That's right, it's a paintbrush, mate. I'll tell you what, I love these koalas. They stay so lovely and still, so you can paint them quite easily. Like this little chappy over here. Look at that. A nice bit of gloss or even a bit of emulsion. It'd go really, really nice. Mate, mate, Good day. I'm Barry, I'm a bushman, and I'm here to tell you pommy people that, uh, with a bit of ingenuity, a guy can survive in the bush. Graham knows that, don't you, Graham? No worries. <laughs> Over here, Graham. <laughs> Trees have hidden secrets, poms. Let's go have a look in here. If I'm lucky, I'll scrabble around a bit. Oh, beauty, mate. <laughs> you see, the roots of the sausage tree are not only edible, but they're a great accompaniment to uh, the leaves of the bacon plant. Get a shot there, Graham, uh, which I found earlier. Let's go. <coughs> Graham, I'm over here, mate. Don't shoot the scenery, OK? Now, Poms, if I'm lucky, I'll just look behind this bush here and... Yeah, I'm in luck today because these mints are not always in season, but the great thing about them is you can eat them raw. Now, survival. If you know where to look, you're OK. Let's do Brecker. <laughs> oh, man, this must be the purest spring water I've ever tasted. <laughs> What'd you say, Dave? <laughs> Go 
up and I feel good tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because we are back in this little old country that they call Australia. Hang on, a, hang on a minute, this is Australia. Yeah. Christ, it's so quiet, I thought it was New Zealand. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit chilly, mate. I think I'll just pull on a woolly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, baby, baby, baby. A couple of dabs of mint sauce behind your ears. Oh, Christ, you drive me crazy, you, you, you. I love it. It's sweet as a nut. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, darling, little Sheila. I love it. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Bloody big mouth. Yeah, huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the size of that croc. Thanks very much. <laughs> so, what's the damage? Fifty dollars, mate. What? Fifty dollars? Twenty-five quid? You're pulling my plonker. <laughs> Fifty dollars? Call yourself a cabbie. Should be at least 150. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> Tommy bastards. Oh, little boy. I oh, know, mate. Big silver bird down under. Yeah, I know. My little Steve. Excellent. <laughs> Blinded. All right? My bottle's gone. My ring piece is puckering like a blind knife thrower's assistant. Settle, settle, settle. Give it four finger large. Do what? Ring the doorbell. Oh, right, yeah. Classy. Sweet. Steve? Yeah? It's me. I'm sorry? It's me, your dad. My dad? A large portion, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. oh, oh. Large. Steve, house beautiful view, the dog's bullocks. You proud? I'm as proud as a peacock with a stalk on. <laughs> hey, my son. Hey, boy. Bush. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Bush. Man. Man's man. Yes. I, 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 lodge, lodge, <laughs> like his dad. Yes. <laughs> hey, Steve. Rumpety pumpety. Sorry, Uncle Frank. A large portion of what's the name, son? All right. Oh yeah, lots. <laughs> plenty to do with the old meat and two. Oh yeah, plenty. Thanks. Good day, everybody. <laughs> Roger, this is my father and my uncle Frank from England. <laughs> 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 Geezer, large. Very large. Roger lives here with me. Yeah, yeah, flatmate, blinded, bush. No, we're partners. Oh, golf partners, four ball, lovely, you blinded, bush. No, Dad, we're a couple. We're gay, Dad. <laughs> Got a problem with that, Uncle Frank? What, me? No, I'm right liberal archie minded me, mate. <coughs> Shirt lift and lit lift, that's what I say. <laughs> my own flesh and wash name. I know. The fruit of my loom. I know. <laughs> me. I hope it's my son the West Hand Striker. Do I not know that? SAS Captain. I know. Giving helmet wash name a right large portion, yes. <laughs> no. No, he's tugging the todger of Roger the Lodger. <laughs> That's the last I'll see of Dad. <laughs> OK, speak to you soon. Bye, Mum. Still <laughs> bright side, mate. Come Christmas, right? Save all that. What? No grandkids. <laughs> Billy, mm? why don't we play a jolly guessing game? Why don't, why don't
Why don't you pretend to be something, uh. and I'll try and guess what you are. Okay. Okay. Right. Here I go. Then. Uh, 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 oh, that's easy. You're uh, a lumberjack. No, I'm shaking myself after a wee wee. That's the one we couldn't get on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got a 20 in one inch screen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do another one, Billy, and see if I can jolly well guess again this OK, time. then, right, see if you can guess one, right. Here I go. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I know, you're Damon Hill losing a Grand Prix. <laughs> no, I'm Hugh Grant driving around Los Angeles. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> when you're scavenging for food in the bush, it's all about listening. You've got to wait for exactly the right moment. Beauty, man. <laughs> Ted, you just got cannabis. Yeah, yeah. Which cannabis do you want, mate? <laughs> Our country and your country, right, has always had a great cultural exchange. Let me explain. We gave you Shakespeare. You gave us prisoner. <laughs> We gave you the Royal Ballet. You gave us dwarf throwing. <laughs> we gave you cricket. And you gave us a bloody good thrashing. What happened? Well, Grandad had a heart attack, fell on the bob and burned himself to death. That's terrible. Yeah, the kids are really upset. There's only one side we're crackling on. <laughs> Quite amazing, all these creepy crawlies <laughs> are creeping and they're crawling all over the place, mate. Just wash them in the stream like everybody else, man. Well, man, they've got a couple of days' worth left in them, man. They're all right. <laughs> Bang them out against the rock once they go dry. You're <laughs> disgusting, kid. <laughs> it's with enormous pleasure that we give you a proclamation from Her Majesty the Queen of England. <laughs> with sign language for the hard of hearing. Are you ready, master of the art of mining? Hear ye! Hear ye! Hear ye! Ladies and gentlemen, of Australia. <laughs> Recent times have been hard. Oh. <laughs> You're meant to mime it. <laughs> Recent times have been hard. <laughs> For our monarchy. <laughs> Somebody down here said, mouth organ. <laughs> no, I'm not bloody miming that. vegetarian, leave him alone. <laughs> but now, in Australia, <laughs> there is a growing feeling. Oh, yeah. 
A movement towards self-rule. Not bad, mate, yeah. <laughs> In Australia, I have met many, many people. Hello, 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 hello. hello. <laughs> Many, many hundreds of thousands of people. Just get on with it, for God's sake. And I'd like to thank them all for their huge support. Yeah, thanks. It's um, lovely. <laughs> Especially your politicians, Bob Hawke. <laughs> and Paul Keating. Oh, God, they love him. <laughs> Once upon a time, I had an empire. You're out. And my empire... You're still out. ...was spread... Oh, baby. <laughs> ...far and wide. From the Andes... <laughs> ...to the Pyrenees. <laughs> from Nepal... Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> to Titicaca. <laughs> but now, with this great country of Australia, I must finally sever my ties. <laughs> this I do with great sorrow. <laughs> and a sinking heart. Sinking heart! I was sure you said stinking heart. No, well, I did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end. Thank you. <laughs> Here and piss. Not in front of the children. Oh, this shit. Really bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've got free tickets and it's still a yeah. rip-off. It's <laughs> fun in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Please go away, we're talking rude. Now just go away. Hey, what the pace? Johnny. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. <laughs> Do you know what time it is now, Billy? No, Jolly Well don't. Well, it's Jolly Well story time. Oh, great. <laughs> that means it's time for a story. Hurrah! <laughs> and today's story is called... <laughs> Billy in the Magic Forest. 
One day, Billy went walking in the magic forest. Hello, everybody. It's me, Billy, and I'm walking in the magic forest. <laughs> He walked and 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 walked. Then he walked and 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 he hopped and he skipped and he jumped and he turned round and round and pretended to be an echidna. And soon he was very, very tired. Gosh, I'm fatigued. He was so tired that Billy decided to sit on a toadstool. Oh, sorry, Mr. Toad. He said. And Billy felt much, much better when he was on the magic mushroom. Hey, all right. <laughs> Soon it became very, very dark. Oh. And Billy was frightened. Oh. Because Billy knew that night time was the time for goblins. Billy doesn't like goblins. <laughs> he sensed something stirring in the undergrowth. Oh. From behind him, Get off! from behind him, there came a dark shadow. It came closer and closer. Mm. A voice whispered, Hello there, Billy. <laughs> It'd only be me, Mr. Pallad, the Palladman. Thank goodness for that. Thought Billy. I feel safe now. It was then, and only then, that Billy noticed Mr. Plod wasn't wearing any trousers. <laughs> Not the breathalyzer again. <laughs> uh, this is great place. We'll do it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Look, I tell you what, mate. We're going to make a fortune, don't worry. Yeah, and I'm just not real sure about it, that's all. Hey, hey, come on, trust us. We're professionals. Come on, up yeah. you go. Get on your books. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, roll up. Five bucks to kiss Dieter Brummer. Five bucks. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Five dollars to kiss the star of neighbours. Come on. I'm going to wait, huh? All right, all right. Whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Come on, five bucks to kiss him. Ten bucks if you use your tongue. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't wait, don't wait. No, no, no. no. It's, uh, it's ladies only, OK? But uh, it's my room number on there. Please, would you like only for a buck? Look, I'll pay for it myself. The man's losing his ego here. No. His self-respect, no? You, madam. You... Oh, come on, you look desperate. <laughs> one little kiss. One of you must want to kiss the man. Look, he's desperate. <laughs> Well, we got um, two buttons and 50 cents from that nun. Listen, man, I think there's supposed to be a sex symbol down here or something. Sorry, guys, I guess I must have just lost it. I mean, the girls don't seem to want me anymore. You know, what can I do? Hold this. Step right up, 50 bucks to kiss the fat bombs. Come on, bring me your money. Thank you very much. 50 bucks to kiss the fat bombs. Thank you. Oh, yes. How's that? He's gone. He's gone. He's just... I think he's just... Those of you up the back, come forward. 50 bucks. Keep kissing my bum. That's another $10. <laughs> Lovely. You veggie burgers, Jen. Right, right on. Yeah, yeah, made from, like, real vegetarians, man. <laughs> As you may or may not know, we are... The management. <laughs> and in our time, we have managed many things. We've held... It's difficult to laugh without a tongue. Especially where I'm going to put it. Ronnie, I loves Australia, don't you, Ronnie? Yeah, because I'm the man who put the knee in Sydney. <laughs> and he put the elbow in Melbourne. And I put the coil in Alice. Alice Springs. She does now, mate. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know what you Aussies think of us Brits, yeah. You think that we're 50 million soccer hooligans hanging off a rock the size of your thumbnail with one hand, while drinking a pint of warm beer with the other. Well, you're wrong. We don't always drink warm beer. What? <laughs> and we also know what you Aussies think we think about you, because you think that we reckon you're nothing more than a bunch of bleached, muscle-bound beach bums with corks in your hats, walking up and down the beach all day, cracking walnuts between the cheeks of your ass. <laughs> but we know not all your women are like that. <laughs> you know, it's great to be back here in Australia, you know. My father used to spend a lot of time with the kangaroos, and I suppose it kind of rubbed off on me. <laughs> this is the typical nesting place of the funnel web spider. Just one bite from this deadly creature can. I mean, you know, like these Japanese people, man, like they're buying up more and more of Australia. Yeah, take a look at this bonsai beach. No? Yeah, bonsai. <laughs> by the banks of Sydney Harbour, by the bridge and near the opera, by the deep and flowing ocean, Live the trader, watch your cocker. <laughs> Him come live in big Australia, emigrate from London, England. Him love Sheila in bikini. Him have fun when him down under. <laughs> Once the brave young watch your cocker, him see mini ha ha walking. Him one take her to his wigwam. Him one give her plenty wampum. <laughs> Him want take her Friday drinking, meet her in the coach and horses. She drink perno and black currant. Him drink 20 pints of wallop. <laughs> Me think it was worth yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it when you have something dangling in your face? <laughs> your lucky night. Yes. <laughs> Pretty soon they going steady. She want him to meet her daddy. Him called Big Chief Walk on Water. Him in charge, Manly Ferry. Manly Ferry. Manly Ferry. She said to her Big Chief Daddy, this my boyfriend, watch a cocker. He say, watch a, watch a cocker.